All right, welcome back to the Three Pointers TV. Myself, the T's, big up Marty, big up to the dubs, man. Arsenal versus Brighton finished 3 0 to Brighton, mate. Marty, to talk about it, man, let's talk about it. I mean, the performance first half. Biggest like dog shit I've seen all season, that's the truth. I've not seen a performance like that all season. Getting beaten at home by 3 0. 3 0 by Brighton is fucking embarrassing. End of situation. We've thrown the title away, we've thrown it away on numerous occasions, and I know exactly where, we, where, where we've done it. At Anfield, 2 0 up, we're cruising. Got two, Jorginho on the bench, why don't you bring him out on? Concede two goals, there's the points gone. West Ham, 2 0 up, cruising, training ground, bring Jorginho on changes the game that's what you buy the player like that for he plays the ball side to side kills the game that's what mm. happened during control of the game same thing Southampton you start him that doesn't go like that you don't lose games like that with a world class player like that mm. on a pitch it, it, just, it just doesn't it, or, or draw it doesn't happen there's the lost points and then this game it's just a pile of shite you know we haven't got the players we haven't got the depth we've run out of steam at the end the heads have dropped there's no confidence and uh, and, 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 and the season's done this, this now I, I was someone saying it ain't over till it's over. Mm. It's fucking over now. Man mm. City ain't gonna lose all their all the rest of their games. It, it, that will not happen. There, there was there was nothing. Getting getting even just you got to score one goal. I listen. I understand Brighton have done phenomenally well for the club that they are this season. They got um, battered by Everton uh, last week. Exactly, and and the thing is, and okay, they took Wolves mm. apart six 0 But the but the truth of the situation, we've bought some of their best players off of them, and we should have got bought that Casido. That Casido was unbelievable. I've not actually seen him live playing, and he's a solid player. I don't know why we didn't just buy him as well. He's got to find a way to play Party and Jorginho. I'm sorry, I look, no, I, I cannot see how you can't play both of those players. But to, pa, Thomas Party. He ain't at the races, yeah. and when he come on, it we capitulated. We do you, fell yeah, apart. Do you think? Do you think that's what that's what it is, Mike? Do you think that you know I, it's the last fine, like the final hurdle? We, we play more games yeah, just to just to put listen, Man City listen, under listen, pressure. Listen, listen, listen. Reece Nelson, a player like Reece Nelson, needs to be around world class players. We've got too many young players, and we're not utilising the older, experienced players we've got. That's just how I see it. And and, and you, you're going to get so far. You know, we're on this this hype, and obviously we're top of the league for rest the season but we've fallen off and we ain't got a fucking depth that's mm. the truth we still need to buy players yeah. if we want to if we think we're going to play like that in the champions league you, we are going to get fucking done in the ass every fucking week mm -hmm. simple we, we we're going to go straight out of that competition embarrassingly and uh, see a young team of players like that that ain't good for their confidence mm. right You've seen it in the Europa League. We have not got the depth in the squad. We've got a great first eleven that can mix it with any team in the Premier League. Yeah. But as soon as you take some of those players out, yeah. we're, fuck we're fucked. We, 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 we're done. It's, it's as simple as that. There's no other, you know, the, the Saliba, we've missed him massively. Thomas Partey is not at the races. If you can tell me he is the same player since them allegations came out about a, a random player, um, you know, if you can tell me yeah. he's the same wow. player that we've seen all season, yeah. he ain't. He's just not. You, you see him on the ball, he, he's heading in another place. Yeah. It's, in another, it's, on, it's, it's in another country. And, oh, and that's it. Thomas yeah. Part is a world-class player. I don't know how people can't see that. You can't, you can't, I'm saying you can't play him. But you're not going to get what you need to get out of a player like that in that situation. Mm. It's just fact, he's a human being. And you've got to take into consideration all those factors. But then when you don't have, when you don't have players to back them up, as you do with Jorginho, but he don't play him. At least he started playing him now. Yeah. But then, you know, look, Tierney, Tierney was good and he come in and did a job today, gave the ball away a couple of times. It, Gabriel Jesus never looked like he was going to, you know, yeah, there was one chance. He never looked like that was going anywhere near the back of the net. And to, to, to not concede any goals, this is the last, worst performance I've seen since a performance a season before or a season before that. And some of those dreadful, shocking situations where people were booing. And, you know, and one thing I fucking hate as well, which I really, really pisses me off, is when, listen, if I could be 6 0 down, you've got people, fucking rivers float flying out of the stadium. Don't buy a fucking ticket if you ain't gonna watch the 90 minutes don't buy a fucking ticket what's the point in coming here after 70 what 75 yeah. minutes you're going home yeah what's, what's the point in that yeah. that's what and you wonder why we went 3-0 down yeah. Listen, so those 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 players especially those young players yeah, need support you support. stay till the end of the game that's and it. there's people that are begging 
begging to have tickets Season and they're tickets. getting charged ridiculous money but you've got these people that they're, and they're just flying out of the stadium like it's nothing I don't, I don't like that that's not supporting your team you support them till thick and thin to the end what's the point what's the kind of point what, what do you think I want to come watch 60 minutes of football no I want to watch the whole 90 minutes even if it's embarrassing what's embarrassing is, is when Brighton fans are all there and they're chanting and they're embarrassing us shout, shouting us that's embarrassing and those people should hold their head in shame stay to the end of the game it's ridiculous no I have nothing to Just say pissed to off with it mate pissed off we've done so well and on a, I'll end it on a positive note because I believe we've done such a great job this season getting this team together this this great first 11 we've had we've brought some great players through and, and, and it's absolutely fantastic and it, you know if you were to say Champions League football at the end of the season and taking second place you bite your hand off it so well mm. done well done to the team well done Vic Arteta I'm not saying that I could go on a pitch and do that because I couldn't uh, they've <laughs> done fantastically uh, and they were great you know and he's pulled out some players from some random places and you know I'll take my hat to him and he's been absolutely phenomenal and I even love it how today Mikel Arteta was so passionate he's, he, he was on the pitch Pitch, and that's what he got booked for. He ran onto the pitch and he was so passionate and I really admire that about him and I think he will really go far but we need to really reinforce this team. If we do not want to get embarrassed in the Champions League, you imagine Real Madrid coming in and we've got, this is the resort of the team we've got and we've got to play these options. We've got to play these players. We're going to get absolutely annihilated. And this is not Arsenal, this is Arsenal Football Club. This is not a time to be getting you know stuffed by teams like that but that's what will happen and you know we've got we've got Wolves we've, we've got, got um, Nottingham Forest. Forest and then we've got Wolves and we've got two games and I'll be honest with you I cannot see Man City losing every single game even our women you could probably they could probably play every other day and they wouldn't well they only got you know? Chelsea they got Chelsea next <laughs> yeah I know Chelsea probably don't want us to win it anyway so they'll probably throw that away but look, he needs to reinforce reconfigure have a summer off reconfigure see where they're going and then uh, and then move on from there and then let you know let's start next season afresh and and, and they really need to strategize and cat you know literally get their plan out how they're going to attack this Champions League mm. and how they're going to attack next season with the depth of the players and I think they're going to be absolutely mental if they think about getting rid of George Jorginho. I really, really do. I think he needs to be at his club and, and, and I think within 15 years he will be a top, top manager and, and I do. Nice one, Marty. Thank you Sweet. very much, man. Three Pointers TV. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>